Hi, Librarian Tara here to show you how to connect Google Scholar with our library databases. So um, first of all, I'm going to go to Google Scholar. The address is scholar.google.com. First thing you want to make sure is you're logged into your account. Uh, I see in the upper right here that I am logged in. If I wasn't, I would see a sign in link there. So I could go ahead and sign into my Google account. Now, uh, we want to set up the link to our library, so I'm going to click on the More button here and go to the Settings. Inside the Settings, we're looking for Library Links. So click on the Library Links tab, or it could be a button down the side of the page. And what I want to do is search for my library. It found two links there, so I'm going to go ahead and click both of those. If you're also uh, associated with another college, go ahead and try to put their coll that college name in uh, to see if you can link to their databases as well. I'm not, so I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and click on the Save button. So now I'm going to do a search. I want to uh, find articles on passenger rail and how that might affect carbon dioxide emissions. So um, first of all, here's an article right here. Um, I'm going to click on the More button. So that's going to show me this link to get this at WCC. So when I click that, it's going to try to find out if we, in fact, have that in one of our databases. Sometimes it takes a moment. And here we are. OK, so we do have it in our ScienceDirect database uh, that we subscribe to at the library. So here's the article. Great. Now, if you want to find more articles, you can just click the back button. Uh, here is, um, oh, let's try to see if this article is available. So I'm going to click the more button and again, get this at WCC. In this case, no no results were found. That happens sometimes. I'm going to click the back button again and let's try another one. Oh, how about... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to um, say I'm, I'm more interested in recent articles and let's see if that... Uh, okay, so here we go. Here's an article. I click on more button that's going to show me the get this at WCC library. If I click that, what it's going to do is try to find that in one of our databases. And sometimes it takes a minute to connect, and in this case, it did find this article in um, WCC's ScienceDirect database. So you can download the article here. Now I'm going to go to um, back to our list in Google Scholar and see if I can find the next article. I'll click on this, and I'm waiting for it to come through. And it says that it did not find any full text uh, available, meaning you can't find the article. So what you can do is, um, you know, if you've read the abstract for the article, which is a really good idea, because it's really just a summary, a good summary of the article. If you're still interested in an article, um, you can go to this link here, Local Document Delivery System, um, which is fancy library terminology for, uh, can you get this for me? So I'm going to click on Go. It will fill out this request form with all of the pertinent information about the publication and the article I'm looking for. I'm going to put in my uh, name and my email address and send the request in. A library staff member will get your request and try to f um, find the article for you within the next few days through something we call interlibrary loan. Um, and then we'll contact you either when we have the article uh, or if we cannot find it for you, we'll let you know. Well, I hope this has been helpful and have a great day.